Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be learning just three really easy triggers and functions. We're going to start off with just a normal map, like so, with whatever you want, and with two spawn points, obviously. What I did was just cut out a hole in the ground, and I did that just by selecting the ground, making it a little bit lower in the side view, and then just using the clipping tool to cut out certain areas, and I selected this area and deleted it. And then I just changed the texture to like a dirt texture. So we'll start out by using the block tool, and we're going to use it and just make like a, a block like so that is a little bit taller than a, a, like a terrace or a counter terrace, and not too wide. Um, we're going to hit enter, shift A, go to browse, and make it brick. I'll just choose whichever one, hit apply, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut it with the clipping tool, make sure it's all white around, hit enter, and keep clipping until you have these two side areas right here, and then with the middle one selected and in the side view, just pull it up until it's like so. So now we just have this little doorway that our person can walk through. Now what we're going to do is make an, use the block tool again, and in the top view, while holding Alt, make a block that is the height of the, the little um, doorway that we've created, but is a little bit further in, as you see in the top view. So that way, I'll show you when you hit Enter, it's going to be a little bit further in, so right when you walk into the doorway, you're not going to hit this wall right away. We're going to hit Shift A, Browse, and put in Trigger. You're going to select the one that says Tools, Tools Trigger, that will click, hit Apply. So in this case, we select the trigger, hit Control T, which is going to bring up our, um, our Function and Triggers window, and we're going to go down to Trigger Gravity. Okay, we're going to hit apply, and basically what you can do is name it if you want to have like a button, trigger it, or turn it, enable it and disable it, but we won't do that in this case. Or you can have it start disabled and then have a button turn it on, but we're not going to do that. All we're going to deal with right now is the trigger, the gravity um, part to it. So what you can do is you can put a number between 0 and 1. 1 is normal gravity. Um, zero is no gravity, and if you go higher, then it's going to be um, heavier gravity. So in this case, we want to have low gravity, so we'll give it like a 0 0.2. Hit apply. Just for fun, we can close this. We're going to click on everything holding control, and we're going to move it over to the side a little bit, and then we're going to hold on to shift and drag it over to the side. So now we have a duplicate. Just to show you the different types of gravities, you're going to double click on the doorway now on the left, or on the trigger, and we're going to change the gravity to, point to 1.5. Hit apply, close it, and once more, holding control, select the, the entire doorway, and move it while holding onto shift past the little hole that you've made in the ground. And we're going to move over to it to double click on the trigger, and we're going to move it back to 1. So basically, this is what's important about tr um, trigger gravity. If you set it to have low gravity or high gravity, then you need to reset it to normal gravity if you want to go back to that. Okay, that's gravity. Also, what's kind of interesting, I won't do it here, but if you want to, you can change gravity to a negative number, and that's going to make it opposite gravity, so it's going to start pulling you upwards. Okay, now we're going to use the... Um, Funk push, or a trigger push, I think it is. We're going to control, click, and select this entire um, little doorway we've, we've made. Shift and drag it over to the right a little bit further. And what we're going to do is in the top view, we're going to drag it down and make it bigger. Like so. So we've made this long hallway. And what we're going to do is double click on the trigger in the middle. And instead of being trigger gravity, we're going to change it to trigger push. Hit apply. 
And just like before with the trigger gravity, you can give it a name so it can be disabled and enabled. Um, but in this case, all we're going to do is the push direction. And the push direction is according to the bird's eye view. So like right now it's being pointing to the right, which is in the bird's eye view, down the hallway, which is great. And then the speed of the push, we can change it to however we want. 40 is kind of slow, so I'm going to leave it at 40. And print apply, close it. Now, selecting everything again, we're going to hold on to shift and drag it downwards, hit control M, and then rotate it 90 degrees. Now what this is going to do, oh, um, rotate it 90 degrees in the Z axis, sorry about that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so there's a corner to this. So we're going to click on the wall on the left and we're going to drag it over and then we're going to drag both of these the, the roof of the new hallway we've created and the side of the hallway and we're going to drag it over and now what we're going to do with the original hallway is we're just going to drag it and fill in the spaces so it creates this nice little nice little corner just make sure that everything is covered up I'll let you kind of figure this one out, it's pretty easy uh, drag it over so as you see if you look inside the hallway um, we have our trigger push and it's not reaching the end of the hallway so drag it over until it hits the corner and then now double clicking on our new trigger um, at the corner turn double click on that and we're going to change it to 150 speed of push and push direction since we want it to go this way we want it to go upwards you're going to change the push direction to the up direction it's going to be 90 hit apply close it. So now what's going to happen is you're going to zoom down this hallway going at a medium speed and then you're going to zoom faster down this hallway. As you see you're running into the wall so we're going to make this a little bit shorter. Um, we can use the clipping tool in this case. Make sure you have all of the um, hallway selected. Hit the clipping tool and then drag the clipping tool across and hit the clipping tool until the area you want to disappear um, to be red. So hit enter, and as you see it disappears, looks like our trigger is a little bit too um, far over, and it's not all the way down the corner, so drag it down into the corner, and drag this so it's only poking out a little bit from uh, the hallway. Okay, lastly, we're going to click, go over to our little doorways again and select them, hold in control, and in our bird's eye view we're going to hold on to shift and drag them over to the end of the map and we're going to do that twice with shift. So now we have two doorways, like so. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to double click on one and go to trigger hurt, which is right here. Hit apply. And then what trigger hurt is, is it can do one of two things. It can either hurt the character or it can give them health. Now this is great if you have a map where you want to to, if they fall down and you want them to immediately die, you'll do it like so. Um, actually, let's create one more. Control click on it and drag it over here with holding on to shift. So now we have three doorways. The first doorway, we're going to have the damage be 10 and the dam damage cap be 20 and the damage type be splash, slash, just for fun. All this is saying is every half a second it's going to give you a damage of 10 and that will never go over 20 damage per second. You can change that around however you like. So for example on this one we can change the damage to be 200 with a damage cap of 400. What this is going to do is just it's going to immediately kill you. And then we can do this one, change it to trigger hurt. But what we'll do is we'll have a damage cap of negative 100 and a damage of negative 100. So now if you walk through this, it's going to give you 100 health. Click apply, and that is your map.